I don't believe we have free will. So that would be the first thing I would say. Um, I think Adam and Eve had free will uh, until they sinned. Once they sinned, their, their wills, their ability to choose was no longer free. It was in bondage. It was enslaved. Um, their whole nature fell. The, the whole of their humanity fell. Their ability to think and feel and choose a right. It all just disintegrated. And so now we are not free um, to choose what is um, right and proper. Um, any choice we make of what is right and good and true is only because of God's grace. So when a person is unconverted, they're not a Christian, um, can they choose to do what's good? They can, but not for good motives, not for good reasons. And for an act to be truly good, you have to have a good action, a good motive, and a good end. And we are no longer able to do that. And that's why, why Jesus comes along and says um, to, to these religious people, you're in bondage, um, you're slaves, and you need to be freed. And so he says, if the Son shall set you free, then you shall be free indeed. And that's what I needed as, a, as an, an, an unbeliever. I, I, I know very well, looking back, I did not have free will. The freedom I had was to choose what I wanted. But what did I want? It wasn't what was good. So, you know, you put in front of me, um, if, I, if I hate spinach, and you put in front of me a plate of spinach and, and tell me to eat it, you know, I don't have the freedom to do that. I hate it. It will make me sick. I, I, I'll just be unable to do it. Um, so I, I, need, I need a change inside of me. I, I need something um, altered. I need something transformed. And that's what I believe salvation does. It saves us. It frees us from our bondage and enables us then um, to, to choose the right things for the right motives and for the right ends. So I need God to come into my life. I need the sovereignty of God to free me to choose what is right for the right reasons and the right ends. So to me, the sovereignty of God is not an enemy. It's what I desperately need. I need that sovereign power. I need that sovereign intervention in my life to come and free me to choose what's right for the right reasons and the right end. So when I look at the sovereignty of God and um, my own responsibility, I see, hey, at last I've got a friend. At last I've got, I've got some, some power greater than myself that can come along and help me to choose what is right for the right reasons and the right ends.